Great. So welcome to my today's uh, conditional probability class. Conditional probability class. When you talk of conditional probabilities, I don't want us to look at uh, the base model which normally helps us to ascertain conditional probabilities. I simply want us to look at uh, this simple probabilistic model, <clears throat> the simple probabilistic model where they want us, basically where they want us basically to calculate conditional probabilities. For example, if somebody gives you some events and then he wants you to compute the probability of A given what year, given B occurred. Probability of A, event A occurring, given that B had already occurred. How will you be able to calculate if it's quite easy? What you need to do is to come and take probability of A and B. So you remove this. So it will be probability of A and B divided by, this is like an over event. It is the one that will go to our denominator. So divided by probability of what here? Probability of B divided by probability of B. So we have here probability of A and B. So basically A intersecting with B all over probability of B. Very, very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. On the same breath, if, for example, somebody wanted us to calculate the probability of Z given M, probability of Z given M, how will we be able to get to this? To get to this, what we shall do is to come and talk over, first of all, in the numerator, we remove this over. So it will be probability of Z and what year and M, probability of Z and M divided by probability of what year, you can see the denominator event all over, all over. Probability of what here? M. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are following Mwalimu here live on Facebook, I really request you to share this particular training, this particular class uh, with uh, all your friends on your timelines to the, the various groups that you are a member, for example, the accountants on Facebook group, ETC. So then for us to be able to appreciate what I'm talking about here, this afternoon, I would want us, ladies and gentlemen, to look at an example. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. And the example is displayed there. So we are told here from past experience, a machine is known to set up correctly on 90% of occasions. If the machine is set up correctly, then Ladies and gentlemen, 95% of good parts are expected. But if the machine is not set up correctly, then the probability of a good part is only 30%. On a particular day, the machine is set up and the first component produced and found to be good. What is the probability that the machine is set up correctly? Is set up correctly. So ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen very well here. We are given two scenarios. The first scenario being us, being able, ladies and gentlemen, to set up the machine correctly, or we'll experience an incorrect what here, setup. So CS stands for correct setup, correct setup. And then we have IS standing for incorrect, incorrect what here, setup, incorrect setup, incorrect setup. So for those of you who may wish to study online with us, online with us, please. That is our number. And remember probability theory is uh, under quantitative what year analysis in CPA section what? Section four, section four. So we've got two scenarios here that either we shall set up our machine correctly, or in this case here, we shall set them up incorrectly like that. And if that happens, ladies and gentlemen, then we are given again two scenarios. For each one of them, we are being given two scenarios for each one of them. That the spare parts, in this case here, could be good. So we have good spare part. 
good spare part, bad spare part. The same here, good spare part, bad spare part. So let's read the question again. Let's read the question again. What are we told, ladies and gentlemen, here? What they're telling us, from past experience, a machine is known to be set up correctly only 90% of the occasions. If the machine is set up correctly, the 95% of good parts are expected. But if the machine is not set up correctly, then the probability of a, a good part is only 30%. So let us try to now put in the numbers. We are told from past experience, a machine is set up to, is known to be set up correctly only 90% of the occasion. So moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, even when we shall be setting up the, this machine, of course, history will repeat itself. So you're saying that a correct setup, again, will be accounted by 90%, so 0 0.9. So in correct setup will be what here, somebody probability 0 0.1. Now, if you were to set up the machine correctly, what have they told us about the chances of good spare parts? Well, they have told us about the chances of good spare parts. They're telling us here that if the machine is set up correctly, the 95% of good parts are expected, are expected. Ladies and gentlemen, if we set up our machine correctly, C is correct setup, then good spare parts, we are told here will be 0 0.1 here, 95. Good parts, good parts, good parts, not even spare parts that they're talking of, good parts. They're saying here, if the machine is set up correctly, the 95% of good parts is supposed to be good parts, good parts. So allow us to change this instead of S, we talk of P throughout, good parts. So good parts, bad parts, good parts, bad parts, right? So what are we told, ladies and gentlemen? We are told something very nice here that if we set up our machine correctly, if the machine is set up correctly, the 95% of good parts are expected. Our expected, ladies and gentlemen, look at these. Look at this, look at this, that if we set our machine correctly, then we're going to get 95% of our parts being good. Then what percentage of our parts will be bad? It will be 0.05. How about if we set up our machines incorrectly? It means automatically that there will be some parts which will be okay, good parts, but smaller percentage, the bigger percentage will be what here, bad parts. So what they're telling us, ladies and gentlemen here, what they're telling us, ladies and gentlemen here, is that uh, if the machine is set up correctly, the 95% of the good parts are expected. But if the machine is not set up correctly, then the probability of a good part is only 30%. If the machine is not set up correctly, then the probability of a good part will be 30%. That is it. So what they're telling us, ladies and gentlemen, is that if we don't set up our machine correctly, in a correct setup, then good parts which are expected here will be 0 0.3 the bad parts now will be a bigger percentage, which is 0 0.7 like that, 0 0.7 like that. So ladies and gentlemen, what do they want us to do here at the end of the day? If you look at this, if you look at this, on a particular day, the machine is set up and the first component produced is found to be good. What is the probability that the machine is set up correctly? You set up correctly. So ladies and gentlemen, this is quite a tricky question. If you're not careful, you'll end up getting a zero. What, what, what they are asking us here to do is to come and give them the probability, is to give them the probability of a correct setup. Given that, given that the part that we produce has been found to be good, given what here, a good part. Read the question again. There is a condition there. 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 On a particular day, the machine is set up and the first component produced is found to be good. First part produced is found to be good. What is the probability of the machine is set up correctly? Is set up correctly. This is very good, ladies and gentlemen. 
probability of a correct setup given that the spare, the part we have been able to produce is a good part, is a good part given that conditional probability is the title of our topic. Ladies and gentlemen, is, is our topic. Remember, we started by saying if somebody wants you to get probability of A given B, probability of A given B, how do we get this? This will be probability of A and what here, A and B. So we remove first of all the stroke. All over probability of what here, B. All over probability of B. So the same, same context is what I will be able to use to expand this, is what I shall use to expand these. So ladies and gentlemen, probability, probability, probability that will have a proper setup given that the part produced is good, good part. Remember GP stands for good part, good part. BP stands for bad part, bad part. So please go ahead and expand this. So this will be probability of CS and the GP, good part. All over this is a denominator event. All over probability of a good part. So the first thing that you will have to do is to give me probability of a good part. So please come and give me probability of a good part. Let's take care of the denominator. Probability of a good part. How will I get probability of a good part? Remember here we have got two avenues of getting a good part. It is either CS and GP. So that line, or I can see another GP or this IS and IS and the GP, IS and the GP. So please get out your calculator. CS and the GP means we are multiplying CS is 0 0.9. GP is 0 0.95. So we have here 0 0.9 by 0 0.95 equals. And then we have IS and GP, IS and the GP. So we have here 0 0.1 times 0 0.3. Please give me figures. Please give me figures. Please give me figures there. Give me figures there. So ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? What we have here at the end of the day, I'm trying to retrieve my calculator. My calculator. What I have here at the end of the day will be 0 0.9 times 0.95 equals, which gives me 0 0.855. This will give me 0 0.855. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, here 0 0.1 times 0 0.3. This will be 0 0.03. Remember, the probability of getting a good part it is either we get a good part through these routes of correct setup or through, through other, this other uh, route of incorrect setup. So two possibilities. It is either these or these. And or means that you do what you add. Or means you add. So then probability of getting just a good part will be 0 0.855 plus 0 0.03, which at the end of the day will give me 0 0.8 eight, five, like that, zero point. So when you add the two, when you add the two, you'll end up, you'll end up getting 0 0.8. Please confirm that. You'll end up getting 0 0.8, five, eight, eight, five. Make sure you confirm that. Okay, so make sure that you are able to confirm this figure of 0 0.885, 0 0.885, 0 0.885. So I've been able to take care of the denominator, the probability of getting a good part, the probability of getting a good part. We've told you, so long as you see the good part, you can only see two uh, good parts. 
if you were to really put down your sample space, it is either you have a good path through a machine that has been correctly set up, or you have a good path through what here, a machine that has been incorrectly set up. And the ones I have there, marginal probabilities, I'll be able to compound them by adding because of their or. So after that, now I'll be able to take care of my numerator. Numerator is correct setup and a good part. Correct setup and a good part. Fortunately, that I already have it. Correct setup and the good part. It's this root. Correct setup and the good part is this root, which gave me 0 0.855, which gave me 0 0.855. 0 0.855, therefore the final answer here, good, correct setup and the good part is 0 0.855, 0 0.855, 0 0.855, uh, all over, all over probability of a good part, which is 0 0.885, 0 0.885, 0 0.885. 5. So please, using your calculator, what do we have over here? So we have here 0 0.855 divided by 0 0.885, which gives us 0 0.9, 0 0.966, like that. So that probability of getting a good part from a machine that has been correctly set up is 96.6 what year? percent and then now that marks the end of what year this particular computation this particular competition so most importantly is for us to remember that these conditional probabilities if somebody wants you to give him probability of b given what year c how do we get probability of b given c we have to expand this so to expand this it will be probability of b and what year c all over probability of the denominator event which in this case here will be probability of C. So in our next session, I'll be showing you how to capture the Bayes theorem nicely. And I expect you to keep on following uh, this Mualimu on Facebook. And please don't uh, partake of this great food alone. And ensure that you bring in your friends and ensure that you tag in your friends on this particular live uh, cast. It's very important for you to ensure that we learn in a plural way. So please keep on doing what here, yeah. sharing this. It's very, very, very important. And of course, for those of you who would wish to have our online classes, our online classes, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to call us and we shall be able to give you very good, very good what here, yeah. rates like for 2,500 Kenya shillings, 2,500 Kenyan shillings, you'll be able to get access to our videos, plus what you'll be able to get access to our videos, plus RCM's revision kit, plus RCM's revision what year, revision kit like that. Yes, so it's very important for you to really work with us. You'll get the best out of us. Otherwise, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure hosting, hosting,